Hey everybody, Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to do this particular video for quite a while. It's a very controversial subject and it has to do with goat horns. Come here, Rusty. As you see, Rusty's got some pretty big horns as well as Chico and Buster and a couple other of my goats. And you also notice that some of my other goats like Noel here, Clover and Pumpkin were born without horns. Now that's all because of a genetic. Some goats are born without horns and it's called pulled, P-O-L-L-E-D, naturally pulled goats. That means they're born without horns. Now this is a very controversial subject. A lot of folks elect to remove the horns from the goat, whereas people like myself believe that if they've got horns, leave them alone. Now folks use different methods to remove horns. When they're infants, some people will use a hot iron and burn the horn off before it even has a chance to grow. There's also a substance called horn paste that you could put on their head and it burns and kills the area where the horn will grow. Some people will use a wire saw to cut the horns off even after they're grown. I've seen people use cattle loppers where they just lop the horn off. There's also a method where you use something like a castration band that you put down on top of the horn. It'll squeeze the horn, squeeze the horn till it kills it and eventually the horn will just fall off. Now, I personally believe that if a goat is born with the horns, just leave them alone. This is Happy. He's one of the first goats that I got who was going to have horns when he was little. It was suggested to me that I should remove him if he was going to be a pet, and I did, and I wish I never had. The whole process was horrific. I brought Happy to the farm. They heated up this hot iron, placed it on his skull where his horns would grow in. It burnt through his flesh into his skull. He cried, and it was just awful. I'd never do it again. Supposedly, in most cases, it works okay, but in Happy's case, it didn't work so well at all. His horns started to grow back deformed and brittle. They call them scurs. The scurs would break off from time to time when he'd butt heads with the other goats and it would just bleed like crazy. You could see down into his sinus cavity. It was disgusting. I was always concerned for him because it was an open wound that could get infected. So I brought him to the vet and they surgically removed the scurs. That process was awful too. When I had to change out his bandage, I took it off and he cried and it came out of his head, his sound came out of his head, out of those two holes instead of his mouth. It was so weird, it freaked me out. To this day, Happy doesn't like being pet on his head because it's uncomfortable and sensitive. Some people raise show goats and shows require that they don't have horns. It'd be similar to docking a dog's tail and ears to put it into a show. I don't agree with it, but it's just what's done here. Another reason people remove the horns is because they're scared of getting injured by the goat. Maybe the goat's ornery and they're scared of the goat ramming them, biting them, poking an eye out or something like that. Now I'm doing this video today to show you that you can train your goats not to butt you. Removing the horns off of a goat because you're scared of getting injured is like cutting off the back legs of a horse because you don't want it to kick you or removing the teeth of a dog because you don't want to get bit. The key isn't mutilate your animals so you feel safe, it's use caution around the animals, be aware of your surroundings, and also train the animals to be worked with. Now I'm doing this video today to show you that you can train your goats not to butt you. Last year I posted a video, how to train your goats to do tricks. So it goes to show that goats are trainable and they're smart. You just have to be willing to work with them. Now I know I'm gonna catch some flack from some viewers, but this is my opinion and I just wanted to show you guys that you can train your goats not to butt you. Rusty's the alpha goat in the herd, so I wanna work with him and show you guys how I've got him trained. But first I gotta get him riled up. Come here, Rusty. He listens pretty good. Again, it's just how much time you spend with them and how you're willing to train them. So, I'm gonna tease him a little bit. This is how we play anyhow, but I wanna show you, even when he's ticked off, he's not gonna ram against me. Touch. 
Now you can see I was getting him worked up and pushing his buttons and he didn't hit my legs or my back or try to butt me at all with his horns. So one of the first things when you're training your goats is to let them know that you're the boss. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. Um, some people use a squirt bottle to discourage some kind of behavior, squirt them with water. Um, sometimes I use the hose. Now you could also use a method where you flip the goat onto its side or on its back and stand above it, tell them no, use a loud voice, say no when they've done something wrong and let them go when you're ready, not when they're squirming and want to get up. This will show dominance over them. Also what I do if it's a minor infraction, if one of my goats tries to do something, I'll flick them in the nose and tell them no. Not real hard, obviously. So now that I got Rusty worked up, I'm gonna play with him a little bit and I'm gonna give him my hands to butt. So sometimes I use one hand, sometimes I use two and he knows that these are his targets to hit in a play session. Good boy. You wanna play? Bonk. Ooh, that one was hard. Now watch, I'm not going to use my hand for a target and rile him up again, and you'll see he won't hit me. See, he doesn't touch. Bonk. Okay, good boy. Good boy, come here. He did very good. Always praise your goat when they do what you want. So I'm telling him he's a good boy and I'm giving him some scratches. You could also give him a treat. So he knows that he did right by me. So if he did something wrong, like he did hit my leg when we were playing, I would tell him no and flip him like this. Okay, there we go. And I would hold him down for a little while. Either sit on top of him like this so I could show that, hey, I'm dominant over him. And whenever he calmed down and I was ready and he stopped squirming, I would get up and let him up. But since he didn't do anything wrong, I'm gonna give him some scratches on his belly. There you go. Good boy. One of the other main keys is to build trust with your animals. Let them know that they're loved and they're cared for and you're not gonna do anything to provoke them or tease them. I've seen people post videos where they put a helmet on and go ramming their own goat. Of course it's gonna hit back because now it thinks it's okay and it's gonna ram you in the noggin. You did good, Rusty. Thank you for showing everybody. And thank all you guys for watching. Please consider training your goat not to butt rather than lopping their horns off for no reason. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. Share this with your goat friends, and I'll see you next time. And thank all you guys for watching. Please consider training your goat not to butt rather than lopping their horns off for no reason. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, share this with your GoFriends, and I'll see you next time.